Alrighty guys, to match the theme of today's video, I'm going to be giving away a Vorkath's head and a skeletal visage. Now as you can see here, if you check the Vorkath's drop table, these are two pretty rare drops. Uh, the Vorkath's head right here is 1 out of 300. Now basically, what you use this for is you can use it, you can attach it to a trimmed Ava's accumulator to make an Ava's assembler. Uh, actually, you can just read it right here. It says, combine with a Ava's accumulator T to craft an Ava's assembler. And now this is actually the new best in slot range cape. And for the other item, the skeletal visage, that is 1 out of 1000. Now this thing can actually be used on an anti-dragon shield to make a dragon fire reward which is actually pretty much the range version of a dfs anyways if you guys would like a chance to win this pair all you need to do is comment your in-game name in the comments below like this video and be subscribed to my channel and also obviously don't forget to press that referral link in the description as well and without further ado let's get into this video Yo, what is going on guys? Zach here. Welcome to another video. Now today we are back on Rune X. Now actually before we get into the main topic of this video, I'm going to show you guys uh, that they're actually doing a summer event right now on Rune X. So if you re-log real quick, you'll see right here, summer event. This is the, I think this is the second summer event that's going on. I think they had one going on a while back, but um, this is their new one. It might be a little too late that I'm showing you guys this, but it's okay. There's still 12 days left. It was originally going to end on July 31st. I think they cut it back and they ended up increasing the rewards or something like that. Now if you guys want to read some more information on the summer event definitely check on the runex forums uh it's probably listed in the game updates section i think it was posted on june 21st or something like that along with the vorkath update which we're also covering in this video but what's pretty cool during summer events even if you're not participating you automatically will get uh these rewards right here so whenever you log in if you log in once every single day until the um until the event is over you will be rewarded with whatever item you have next so in in a couple hours if i log in i'll get 25 rune coins and then tomorrow i'll get summer gems um, and yeah, the rewards pretty much get better as you go on. But anyways, today we are going to be killing Vorkath, which is the newest boss on Rune X. So I'm going to kill one on vid so you guys can see actually how to kill Vorkath. So this is actually kind of going to be like a little tutorial too, I guess. So yeah, I'm going to kill the boss at least one time, maybe two on vid. And then, uh, we're just going to kill another 50 or we're going to kill 50 in total. I originally was going to do a hundred, but if you guys, once you guys see me kill Vorkath, you'll understand like why I'm not gonna do 100. I mean, this boss isn't just something you go and kill real quick and then you move on to the next one. I mean, this one actually takes some time to kill. You have, you, there's some mechanics involved and his H, he has a lot of HP, so we're gonna do 50 for today. But before we get ahead of ourselves, as you can see my inventory, I have a Vorkath teleport. So not only is it actually hard to kill Vorkath himself, but it's actually pretty hard to obtain a teleport scroll as well because you actually can get them from killing rune dragons. You can't just teleport to Vorkath at all times. You have to accumulate these uh, teleport scrolls by either killing rune dragons or buying them from other players so if we check the drop tables right here let's look up rune dragon see here scroll down a little bit uh here it is right here the vorkath teleport it's one out of 15 so actually it's not that it's not that uncommon okay i actually thought it was probably going to be a little bit more uncommon than that so one out of 15 isn't that bad but rune dragons are also they take a little bit a little while to kill as well but if you don't want to kill the rune dragons for them you can also buy them from other players i'm pretty sure they're going for around 80 mil right now they may go lower as time goes by since this is a new boss but right now it's between like 80 and 90 mil so let's go ahead and have a look at the Vorkath drop table. So uh, he always drops between 50 and 500k cash, always drops superior dragon bones, and always drops a blue dragon hide. Now you also have a 1 out of 5 chance of actually getting your teleport back. So obviously if you teleport to Vorkath and you kill him and you get one of these, you pretty much didn't really even use the teleport. You're, you're going to get a return on that. And then you got a bunch of these miscellaneous items, dragon med helm, some dragon bolts, dragon throne axes, dragon boots is in here as well, 1 out of 10. Bag of riches is 1 out of 28. You got some more dragon pieces. Now the dragon kite shield is 1 out of 300, Dragon Crossbows 1 out of 300, Plate Body 1 out of 300, the Vorkath's Head is 1 out of 300, and the Dragon Ball Necklace is 1 out of 500. Now I'm not sure whether the Dragon Ball Necklace is new or not, but I do know what it actually does. So whenever you're wearing this pretty much, and I'm, I think when you bury a bone, you will get prayer points. So like, for example, if I have zero right now and I wear a Dragon Ball Necklace, I bury a bone, I will gain some prayer points back. Now this actually includes the Bone Crusher. So if you have a Bone Crusher and it automatically buries bones for you, uh, you'll automatically regain prayer points so pretty useful item there uh, one out of a thousand, you can get a Vorkath pet. Same with the Visage, it's one out of a thousand. And the Skeletal Visage is also one out of a thousand. I explained earlier in the intro, just in case you guys usually skip intros, a lot of people skip intros because they don't really care about giveaways, so I might as well go ahead and explain. Uh, I'm actually explaining the Vorkath's head here too as well. So you can actually attach a Vorkath's head to uh, an Ava's Accumulator trimmed, as you can see, you can see the description right there. Um, and it'll turn into an Ava's assembler, uh, assembler, which is the new best in slot range cape. And then the Skeletal Visage can be attached to a anti-drag 
dragon shield and make a dragon fire ward which is the uh pretty much the range version of a dfs all right now that we got all that information out of the way let's go ahead and get uh set up and then we'll go kill a vorkath on vid and then just kill the rest of the 49 off camera and we'll see what we get in total at the end so uh yeah i'll go get set up real quick all right so i'm pretty sure i've got everything here so uh let me go ahead and explain my setup real quick um so i have a lava pendant a lot of you guys might not have one of these but this actually uh acts as a dfs so it's going to protect me from dragon fire uh the rest of the items don't really matter you're just going to use whatever setup you have here uh i have a ring of wealth eye which is going to increase my drop rate as well and then i also have for potions in my inventory i have a ranging potion anti-fire potion and an anti-venom potion i'm hoping i'm not forgetting anything because he does do venom so make sure you bring anti-venom because it hits pretty hard the anti-fire is just going to be some added protection so if on top if i have the lava pendant and anti-fire i'm pretty much protected from that completely so i don't need a dfs or anything like that and then yeah just some brews uh some super restores and i usually just bring a few food just in case i need to eat a lot really quickly i can just uh shark brew or manta ray brew whatever you want to call it <laughs> but let's go ahead and teleport there and i'm going to walk you guys through the first kill and then uh we'll kill another 49 to end it off so uh yeah so you teleport here and you get at this little boat up here just going to run north and this is where vorkath is going to be once you pass these ice chunks you're going to be in there i suggest setting up quick prayers because that's what i have right here uh, i don't know why i have protect from mage on but you want to put on protect from range if you're using everything like this because he actually doesn't really have any mage attacks a lot of his attacks are range a lot of people are mistaken on here and they'll come in here and use protect from mage which i did as well but if you use protect from mage and you have all the uh fire protectants on you you're pretty good so go ahead and pot up get your anti-fire potion ready anti-venom all that stuff and then put your prayer on and then we're gonna go in there and then we're just gonna fight vorkath so uh that first attack the uh, the pink blast is actually um it takes off your prayer now that attack right there was actually a range attack which we're completely protected from because we're using protect from range um and there's another a certain animation he'll do which you need to be careful of that one right there so you need to run out of the way when he does that because he's going to shoot a fireball at you which can one hit you uh he literally hit me at 107 the other day so oh i thought he did it three times in a row right there so whenever he does that i white attack hurry up and kill this thing don't let it get near you because if that happens yep okay so uh yeah that thing actually hits pretty hard if it explodes on you so try to kill it as soon as possible before it gets to you uh, a lot of people bring a blow pipe because you can attack faster like that there's that pink blast right there so we're gonna put our protect from back on um, oh, he just hit twice in a row. You're an asshole, buddy. Okay, so that's what I was waiting for right there. So the green splats, you're just going to run around. While the green splats on the ground, just run around. Uh, tr you could try to avoid the green splats so you don't take damage. But um, he's basically shooting a bunch of fireballs during this period. So you just need to run around so none of those fireballs hit you. Uh, oh, I just dodged that. Ooh, oh, look at that. I'm dodging it. All right, now we're back to the normal fight again. So yeah, pretty much everything else is self-explanatory. Uh, I mean, that's all. That's pretty much all his unique attacks. He doesn't really do anything else that we need to uh, really go over. But okay, this kill is actually going by really slowly, which is exactly what I was talking about with the whole loot from 50 instead of 100. I mean, as you guys can see now, I, it's pretty crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the mechanics of Warcath. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit, and you guys can... <gasps> Shit, I got hit by the fire blast because I'm talking. <laughs> I'm too distracted, but I'm just going to fast forward from here. Uh, you guys can feel free to watch me finish this off, but uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Also, one thing I was going to mention, um, which I do a lot, I've, I've been just moving every time he attacks now because sometimes I will be a little delayed when he does, he does his fire blast. So if you just move with every attack, you're pretty much never going to get hit by him. Oh god, here comes the thing. Jesus Christ. By the way, whenever he does this, whenever this thing's coming towards you, yes, okay, we, we one hit it, but whenever this thing's running towards you, you're frozen because he does that white attack and it pretty much just freezes you. Uh... Oh, okay, I guess I didn't really have to stay uh, fast-forwarding that long. But there we go, we just got the kill. See what we got as a loot. Oh, we got the Dragon Gauntlets. I'm pretty sure that was actually a pretty decent drop. And we got a Vorkath teleport back. What? Okay, so let's check that drop table, because I'm pretty sure the Dragon Gauntlets were actually something. Yeah, the Dragon Gauntlets are 1 out of 40, and we got a uh, Vorkath teleport scroll, which is 1 out of 15. So we got two drops in one right there. Not bad. But yeah, as you can see here, not many supplies used at all just for one kill. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do the other 49 kills, and I'll come back to you guys when I finish. Or if I get a nice drop. A few moments later. Okay, I just looked this up just to see if it was worth mentioning. I mean, I'm literally on, I think, my fifth kill or something like that. Yeah, I, I don't know, maybe six. And I just got Dragon Plate Legs, Dragon Plate Skirt, and uh, a Vorkath Teleport from literally one kill. Like, I just picked up, I literally just looted. Actually, I think I got a Crystal, I got four drops from that. I got a Vorkath Teleport, a Crystal Tooth Half Key, uh, Dragon Plate Legs, and Dragon Plate Skirt, all in one drop. 
that was pretty crazy. All right, so here we are at the halfway mark. So far, uh, there has not been a super rare drop or anything like that, but it seems like almost every kill or every other kill, I'm actually getting loot. Like, very rarely do I actually just get a blue dragon hide and superior dragon bones. I'm pretty sure that happens like less than half of the time. I'm always getting loots. Uh, so far, I have two dragon gauntlets, uh, 100 dragon bolts, 200 dragon bolts E, two D legs, three uh, dragon plate skirts, a tooth half key, dragon med helm, nine bags of riches, two dragon daggers, uh, dragon boots, and 400 dragon da uh, javelins. So we've got 25 more to go. Hopefully we can get uh, something nice. One eternity later. All right, so here is our total loot from killing 50 Vorkaths. I forgot to show at the uh, the halfway mark the amount of Vorkath teleport scrolls that I had so far because I have other ones in my bank too, so they were stacking up. I wasn't able to see them individually, but I actually got 11 drops. I kept up with them. I got 11 uh, Vorkath teleport scroll drops. Uh, while killing Vorkath, so I like you saw, it was 1 out of 5. I got 11, so that's pretty damn close to 1 out of 5. Also, I, I don't think I banked any cash during this whole process. If I did, I it was just a mistake, but I think I got 14 mil cash total from killing 50 of those, so not really a, a relevant amount of coins at all, but 14 mil cash, 11 Vorkath scrolls, 3 dragon gauntlets, uh, 50 superior dragon bones, 50 blue dragon hides, 300 dragon bolts, 200 dragon bolts E, 3 plate legs, 5 plate skirts, tooth half key, Dragon Med Helm, nine bags of riches, two dragon daggers, two dragon boots, and 500 dragon javelins. Let's go ahead and open up these bag of riches real quick and see what we get from them. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so 75 caskets, uh, 7,500 blood money, probably around 50-ish mil cash right there, and a blood money bag. Oh, wow, okay, so that's an extra 5,000 blood money right there. Uh, I think these caskets contain cash, if I'm not mistaken, and I have them somewhere else in my bank. Yeah, I have 240 in here. Let's just open like 10 of them and see what we get. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it just gives you a bunch of, like, small amounts of coins, so not that big of a difference. So this is the total overall loot. Unfortunately, didn't get any super rare drops, but, uh, as far as regular drops go, it was actually pretty good for the first half. Uh, the second half, though, it seemed like I did get a lot of drops that were just dragon, uh, the dragon hide and the bones, so nothing too special at that drop here and there, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway for the Vorkath's head and the skeletal visage. It's going to all to go into one winner, so whoever wins gets the pair. And also, congratulations to the previous video's, uh, giveaway winner, which is going to pop up on the screen right now just message me in game whenever you see me and i will give you a reward and yeah that's going to do it for today's video guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace